Hiya, welcome to another one of my videos. I hope you're all okay. Um, I have had a very exciting package delivered today and I thought I would share it with you. And I know some people are not fans of um, unboxing or unpackaging videos, but I am particularly excited about this one, so I wanted to share it with you. And I also kind of just wanted to take this opportunity as well to say that I might not be able to get quite as many videos done over the Christmas period as I have been trying. I've been trying to do one a week um, but with work and family and life commitments and I'm a football mum so football kind of gets in the way of stuff as well so yeah I just wanted to kind of apologise really just in case I can't kind of keep up with the, the normal um, amount of videos that I've been trying to put out there but so let me show you this package that I've got I'm very excited about. Here it is! This is my new rucksack and I am so excited about this because I've wanted um, a bigger rucksack for backpacking and wild camping. Um, I've spent quite a long time kind of looking at reviews and asking for people's opinions and a lot of my friends from the I'd Rather Be Camping Facebook group, which is awesome by the way, um, have all recommended this. So um, I had a look online, I managed to get it an amazing price um, from Millets for £44.95 I think it was, which is an incredible price for this rucksack. So let's open it and see what she looks like. And yes, my rucksack's a girl. <laughs> Being very careful, obviously, not to cut the rucksack. Now, I didn't go for a woman's rucksack because I'm six foot one, as I know I've mentioned on many of my videos, boring, but I don't. I'm not a, a petite woman and um, a lot of the women's fit rucksacks that I kind of looked at all said oh with a smaller torso for the female figure and I'm like I haven't got a smaller torso actually <laughs> my length is in my legs not in my body but even so so I have gone it is a it's a man's rucksack shocker um but ah, look at it ah, it's amazing it's a Van Gogh Sherpa, 65 litre, and other than all the incredible reviews and recommendations from friends, the other thing that swung it for me is the fact that it has a fully adjustable back system on it. So I know obviously it's going to take a bit of time for me to get it set up and fitted to me specifically, but I reckon that this should be so, so comfortable. Um, and because I'm going to be able to adjust it all, the straps are adjustable, the sternum straps adjustable, this is all height adjustable so I can, I can really spend my time making sure that it fits me comfortably. I'm going to be able to get the weight distributed evenly onto my hips using the amazing padded hip belt that's on here as well. There are so many, so many features for this rucksack that I just absolutely love. So I'm going to have a quick look at it and then show you some of my favourite um, bits of this ruck, um, rucksack. Yeah, so just give me a minute. I'm all excited. Look, I can't even get my words out properly. I am such a sucker for pockets. I love them. And this has pockets in abundance. I am so happy. Um, OK, so you have two fixed size side pockets on here, one on either side, which look a really good size. I haven't got any high tech spec for you, like, <laughs> that's not me. Um, but yeah, so you've got two pockets on either side. There's a pocket also in the top, up here. Ta da! I've got all sorts of things I've got in here. Three bits. What is it? Elastic sleep mat attachment. Amazing. So that's awesome. And then, oh, she says, yeah, so sorry, I just realised I'm, I'm excited about the pockets, but I didn't show you. So yeah, so there's a, po a pocket on either side. You've got obviously the main compartment, which I shall open. It's got another zip pocket under the lid there. Sorry, keep looking at the wrong screen. I love the fact that it's got this baffle on it as well, on the main pocket. 
this is incredible look i haven't even undone it yet i'm so excited it's like christmas come early for me it's got this baffle bit on the top which is amazing and then inside lift it up so i can show you in here this is where you can put your um filtration system if you've got one there's a special pocket in the back you've got velcro straps in here not sure what they're for i'm sure i'll figure out a use for them so you've got one basically it's one massive pocket Ooh, let me come up so there's one yeah one massive pocket in here but then you can also there's like a a draw cord and then it goes down to the very bottom of the rucksack as well which is just amazing there's another you know yeah another pocket on the front i thought there was another pocket on the front here so you can put things that you want really easily accessible in there these are for, um for your trekking poles or your ice poles if you're out in the dead of winter and then there's a zip in the bottom that you can get oh, right down here that you can get into the bottom of your rucksack so if there's things specifically you want really quick and easy access to but you want them in your rucksack that's where you store them right in the bottom and then you can easily pull them out and there's also somewhere a detachable rain cover as well yeah in the bottom there oh look nice and bright isn't it it's going to clash awfully but yeah so it comes with its own waterproof cover as well i think for less than 45 pounds this is absolutely incredible Ooh. i am chuffed to bits of it i cannot wait to start sorting out all my stuff and working out where I'm gonna put it all. Obviously, I know you have to sort of keep the, the weight distribution right and you don't have the heaviest stuff in the bottom of your bag. There's loads of videos out there on how to correctly pack your rucksack to get the weight sitting right on your body. Um, and I will have to watch some of those as well because I do have back and hip issues and stuff. So we'll have to be really careful with how I actually pack the rucksack. But I am so excited about this. I think she might need to have a name. <laughs> But yeah, so I will um, put a few of the specs um, at the end of the video in my um, or in the bio of the video um, just so that if ever you are interested and you want to have a look at the more techie stuff then you can. Um, but yeah, I am so excited about this and I will do um, a review sort of a few months in um, once I've used it a few times in real life as it were. Um, and yeah, so thank you ever so much for watching and like I said I'm really sorry if I can't car horns outside really sorry if I can't um get to do quite as many videos as I have been doing um but please don't think it's not because I don't love you all because I do um and I will definitely get another video out soon I'm really hoping to do a Christmas camp I've got a few days off just before Christmas um, and just, yeah, hoping that the weather will hold so that I can do, um, not sure yet if it'll be a solo camp or with the family. I'm going to have to wait and see whether they're up for it. I think it depends how cold it is. Um, but yeah, so it should be really good anyway. Hopefully off to the woods this coming weekend um, to meet my parents, which will be the first time since the second lockdown. Um, they're in tier two, so we are legally allowed to meet outside. Um, so yeah, that's going to be amazing as well. So hopefully I can try and film something while I'm in the woods. And yeah, so that's me done, guys. So only short and sweet one this week, but hopefully more for you next week. Um, so excited about my rucksack um, I look forward to speaking to you soon guys take care of each other stay safe and see you soon bye